I found my friggin' Dean with a Seymour Duncan, I'm not sure what, and a mirror truss that belongs on a Paul Stanley, but I finally found this. Oh my gosh! I bought this thing in like in a daze when I was buying everything. And I saw, I remember the first person that actually had one of these was Zach. And he was playing on, I think, The Tonight Show with Ozzy. And they were playing like a good song from, you know, from Blizzard. And uh, he had this Gibson. Uh, and I'm like, what's an SG? But it's a Flying V. It's a whatever. I had no idea. So I contacted Gibson. Contacted? I got in touch with Gibson because I'm like, I got to have one of those guitars. And they're like, well, that's a custom piece for Zach. We're thinking about putting it out. I'm like, great. So I don't know what happened because they never did. Zach is the only one, I think. Maybe Dime had one to get one of these, but with a Gibson, uh, like a Les Paul headstock. And then, boom, Dean came out with them. And then they, probably because of, you know, the Dime thing, and Dime wanted one, and they do have Dime, not Dime, but like Zach was doing this for a while, and I've seen pictures of him playing Dean's with this. Zach's new line that Schechter makes, the Zach Wild line, those guitars are friggin' disgusting. They they look great. The headstock is a very good idea. It's basically, you know, Randy Rhodes Flying V, but double. You know, it's an arrow. And uh, the headstock. And, you know, great. But his guitars play gr just horrible. The necks are gigantic. This one is Dean, and they they tend to do stupid things, but this they actually got the heads, the neck is is still big, but it's not that bad. The only bad thing with this guitar is the friggin' strings are a thousand years old. I have never had the strings changed on this. <laughs> no, I had them changed from the strings that were on it to tens. I don't know what, probably GHS. But this is in like 2010, 11. And yes, it's real, obviously. I mean, look at it. This is an old... I know there's a number. Oh, oh there is a number. Oh, this is when I had my labeler and I was labeling everything. Michael D. MDS Dean Split Tail Custom. Okay, that says nothing. Anyways, the serial number is, uh, well, U.S., that sound, that's a good start. Uh, I know I bought this, like, right after my accident, which was in 2009. 2009, just write that all off, because it was the divorce, the accident, just, it was just, what, 2009 is a blur, it was, ugh. And, uh, so, no. <laughs> 2010 was not bad. I mean, I was getting better. But then in 2011 and 12, I was in a haze because of the medication. And you can see it on YouTube. I don't take anything down. I might mute stuff, but I leave the videos up. Because I would just put me, literally, I have this guitar, and I'm like, I just nod out. For 30 minutes with feedback and 60 70 thousand views I think and I'm like oh really and you know they're all like you know drug addict quit nodding out quit shooting up it's just the more I recovered the more medication I needed because of the pain I mean the more you know I could do so the more movement I could do that was good, 
and the doctor and physical therapist wanted it, but I was in pain. So they just give me a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And unfortunately, the doctor was going through some personal issues. And he didn't realize that he was giving me like seven, eight times the, the normal dose of what you should give for this medication. It's not, it was a... Uh, because I told him I didn't want to get addicted to, you know, opiates again, so he put me on methadone. But I got addicted to methadone because that's an opiate derivative. Suboxone is not. It is not derived from an opiate in any way. That's why that works better if you're trying to get off that stuff. I would suggest using that. And there's your public service for... Also, it's going to be New Year's Eve coming up. I wasn't going to make another video, but I was so happy I found this. I haven't played it. I think it's in tune. Let's see.
Now the camera is up. You can't see the guitar, which is the main thing. But so I found it, uh, and I remember now what's the problem. What the problem is, I put a distortion in. I should have put a JB in because the body is mahogany, I think, and uh, the distortion is too. It's too bright. It needs a warmer pickup. And you can hear it. It's, there's no warmth in there at all. At all. Let me turn off that whole thing. <laughs> I kept thinking, damn, this thing is beautiful, but it's so thin sounding. I pulled the pickup out as soon as I got it, and I had a white one put in. But it's a, it's a distortion, and it sounds really thin. I know I'm playing isn't that great tonight either, but uh, that's I did all is coming back to me <laughs> in little pieces. So here it is. I do have it, and I did find it. That means I probably didn't lose any of the guitars that I thought I did. Because i got to call two or three other people that are holding my guitars for me and ask them. You sure? Because I know I used to label all the cases, and all i got to do is look at the cases. And so I was rearranging stuff, and I, I saw Dean's split tail. I'm like, no way! It was literally on the bottom of a stack of guitars that probably weighed several hundred pounds. I'm amazed the neck isn't worse off than it is. It's just barely playable. It's almost absolutely straight. <laughs> so I try to play, but it's like, it's, you know, hitting, it's hitting frets. So it needs to be set up. You hear that? You can hear that. That all, that will make a difference in your sound. Obviously, it should never be buzzing like that. <laughs> It is beautiful, huh? I think I need to switch that pickup up out. Probably just put a distortion or a JB. JB would probably be the best bet. But I'm imagining you want to hear a story. I really don't have anything. I made a video today earlier. Was it earlier today or was it yesterday? Because I knew that New Year's Eve and New Year's Day is not going to happen. But you'll see it sometime during that time because I don't think I'll be doing anything on New Year's Day. Hey, I'm old. I might take a drive with a friend, maybe. Um, I wish I had my new car. I was expecting that to happen this week, but uh, who knows what's going to happen with that. Um, well, there you go. Here's the V, here's the split tail Dean, and I'm glad I found it. Uh, as far as the last story I told about Sharon stealing everything, I said some stuff, you know, you know, because they're asking why people don't seem to realize that Don Arden owned Jet Records. So wherever Don was, the master tapes went with him, the ones that he cared about, all except 
you know. Otherwise, they would just stay in England. But since the CBS deal was going to happen, he was had him out here in the L.A. office. There was an L.A. office. I know two girls that worked there at the Jet Records, and they worked there, I think, part time. One of them worked there, and then she worked at the uh, at the Rainbow as a waitress. Tony Iommi story, remember that? Same girl. So, yeah, so that's where I got the first word of that. And I'm like, no way. And then the other girl told me, and I'm like, oh, unbelievable. I can't believe that guy did that. That he gave all the master tapes to Sharon. And that put her in charge. That gave her everything. That's all she needed to say, you know what? I got the masters. Screw all of you. So the only person that was really getting paid was her. So Ozzy really didn't have a choice. He had to marry her. He won't talk about it now because I guess he's kind of like in like with her, but he sure doesn't show up because they sure has, he has a lot of, even with all that plastic surgery, she's still the same person. She's not nice, believe me. I met her several times, and I had to be on my best behavior because my ex-wife worked for her. And, you know, I wanted to ask her a ton of questions. This was, you know, back in 2004, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. And, you know, very few questions at all. And Ozzy was always, you know, doped up. See, my wife was a, their private air chick. Can't remember what they call her now. So, you know... If they're going to Hawaii, she'd decorate the whole plane, like in a Hawaiian theme, and da da da. But Ozzy had to have 12 dozen, 12 dozen boxes of, you know, glazed uh, Krispy Kremes. This is the Krispy Kreme was still big. And he, she said he would have, you know, five boxes down. He'd eat five boxes of the, you know, before they even took off. And then he'd just eat them all before they even got to Hawaii. And maybe the kid would get one or two. But it was always, you know, Sharon, Ozzy, uh, and the kids. I can't remember their names now. I'm not that, I'm not a big Ozzy fan. I'm not. You know, I just, he's like a curiosity to me <laughs> because of what happened and how he got to where he did. And he does it, he would acknowledge it more if he could. But I know Sharon holds him back from doing it. And, you know, her relationship with Randy was, you know, quite strange. And she never did have intercourse with him. I don't care what she says. There's no way. Unless he was so, like, I need to do something. I need to make a power play and get her on my side. And, you know, just got drunk. But I doubt he would do that. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. He wasn't an angel. He was human. And Sharon is... I don't know if she's human or not. And <laughs> she's no angel. But, you know, whatever. I, mean, you know, I don't want to talk too much trash about a mother. I'm just letting you guys see the guitar. I think this thing is beautiful. I wish it sounded better. But it, to me, it's it's really thin sounding, don't you think? Don't you agree? I I think it's very thin. Oh, my God. 
I found it anyways uh, what was I saying so yeah that's why the masters are out here um, any of you who have questions about the story because it did get a few hits um, if you're my, if you're a friend on my Facebook page I will private message you the letter that girl wrote me explaining everything and who the guy is and everything. If you're that interested. If you're not. Because uh, that got a lot of things going. And I'm still getting hits. And uh, you know everybody thinks I know everything about guitars. Even though I can't play them. <laughs> this guitar is really bad. I mean it's, it's really you know. It's, it's shot. But I found it. I'm just so glad. That means the BC Rich and everything else that I thought I lost is, is near. So, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, the only thing I can think of is, you know, if you have questions. Oh, I'm, I'm putting out. I, this guy wanted me to. Uh, I hope you hear this. I wanted the Pine Knob. Uh, concert 1981 Blizzard tour. I have I have every almost every single show that Oz, uh, Randy did with Ozzy. I think I'm missing like five or ten. So if you have a show that you want me to post on YouTube, let me know. But they sound like junk. They're all bootlegs. They're all you know. A guy bringing in a little camcorder or whatever, camcorder, tape recorder, and just, you know, everybody's screaming. And fortunately for Randy, he liked to, you know, take over that mid-range of everything. So he shoots through, but it sounds like hell. Most of them. Some of them sound really good. I have three soundboard ones. Two of them are being worked on. But it's the guy that's doing my other thing. So he's got a family and stuff to do. So believe me, I want to hear him too. It's just that I gave the tapes to him so he could digitize them and master them. It's going to take a while. Uh, a couple weeks, I think. A couple more weeks, I, I hope. But there you go. So uh, what else? What else is there? What else is there? Uh... Happy New Year, man. 2020. I can't believe it. 2020? And we're just now going back to the moon, which everybody thought by the 90s we'd be living there. 
and then colonizing Mars by now, another planet. But no, because of certain, there's two parties, <laughs> I'm not going to get into politics too much, but one says they'll do things and don't, and another one says they'll do things and tries, but are usually not let are allowed to. So it's just a ridiculous back and forth, and it's becoming so... I hate politics. To tell you the truth, I hate them. I, I study them, and I don't... I, I don't watch too much news. I, I just watch what I need to, and I'm like, okay, because there's nothing new. There's nothing you need to know about. There was a th thing... I like to, you know, keep up on the uh, war on terror and attacks and stuff, but... Other than that, where was I going with this? Oh, the new year. Let's just hope it's a better year. Whatever your thing is, I hope it, it happens for you. You know, it's so weird because you can't talk. You can talk politics when, in like when I was growing up, way back when, you know, a thousand years ago in the 1980s. And then in the 90s, it started to get weird. It started to get strange, where, like, you couldn't say political correctness. I hate it. I hate political correctness. Charlton Heston, political correctness is tyranny with manners. And that's true. So, don't, you know, I don't want to talk too much because I don't want to lose anybody. So don't think that I'm on anybody's side because I'm not. I'm on my side. And uh, I just, yeah. cut. This is all about guitars and metal, you know, hard rock music, you know, asking questions about certain guitars and uh, finding out information. And, you know, I've learned a lot from you guys, and I can, you know, I try to help other people. Look at this thing. There's not many of these. A lot of people didn't get them, but some that did, you know. This sounded really good when I first got it. And then I switched the pickup out. It looks cool, but it doesn't sound right. It's too thin. And, Happy New Year. I hope everything works out for everybody that watches this, you know. Some people are going through some hard times. Some people are, are cruising through life. You know, I hope everything keep, gets better for everybody. Why not? Everybody. There's nobody I hate. I'm not a racist. I, I, don't, like, I don't like that whole scene. Uh... I just, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm saying. Subscribe to the damn channel so we can just talk about stuff that we like, like guitars and music. All music. I love all music. All I listened to yesterday was NWA and Snoop Dogg. The day before, all I listened to was Tom Jones and Burt Bacharach, who wrote a lot of good songs. A lot of good. Because I'm trying to, you know, I'm thinking melodies. I need to figure out some melodies for the tunes I'm writing. So, because uh, there's two that I want to really do, like, the last two are going to be, like, super pop, but heavy. So, um... You know, I'm 